Bill Gates, one of the world's most talked about and influential leaders. But what has he actually done, and where did his journey begin? In this video we will learn all about Bill Gates and how he became one of the biggest names on the planet. Before we start, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up so you don't miss out on more interesting videos on big names on our channel. Let's go! Bill Gates, born on October 28, 1955, is a software developer, investor, author, and philanthropist. He was born and raised in Seattle and in 1975 he founded the company Microsoft, together with his childhood friend Paul Allen. The company became the world's largest personal computer software company, and Bill Gates led the company until he stepped down as CEO in January 2000. However, he remained in the company as chairman, holding that role until February 2014, when he instead became a technical advisor to support the then newly appointed CEO, Satya Nadella. In March 2020, Gates finally stepped down from his Microsoft board position, to focus on his philanthropic efforts for climate change, global health, development, and education. Ever since 1987, Bill Gates has been on the Forbes list of the world's richest people, and topped the list from 1995 until 2010. As of November 2022, Gates had an estimated net worth of $107 billion, making him the fifth richest person on the planet. After leaving Microsoft in 2020, Gates has devoted himself to philanthropic projects, putting large sums of money into charity and scientific research programs through the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, which is the world's largest private charity. Together with Warren Buffet in 2010, Gates founded the Giving Pledge, where they together with other billionaires, pledge at least half of their wealth to philanthropy. Bill Gates is the son of William H. Gates and Mary Maxwell Gates. His father was a prominent attorney and his mother served on the board of First Interstate Bank System and the United Way of America. Bill Gates' grandfather, J. W. Maxwell, was a national bank president. At the age of 13, Gates had the opportunity to program his first computer program, through a machine his school had invested in. This expanded his interest in programming and Gates began to study source code. He was hired by a teacher at his school to automate the school's schedule system, and in return, the young Gates asked for more computer time at school. In the project, Gates brought with him his best friend named Evans, who unfortunately died in a climbing accident before the project was completed. The day Gates received the news that his friend had passed away, he was later described as the worst and saddest day of his entire life. To complete the project with the schedule system, Bill Gates asked another friend, Paul Allen, if he could step in and help out. As 17-year-olds, Bill Gates and Paul Allen started their first company, Trafo Data, and their idea was to make a traffic counter, based on the Intel 8008 processor. A few years later, in early 1975, Bill Gates read an article by Popular Electronics, that demonstrated the Altair 8800, which got him interested and made him further contact MITS, the company behind the Altair 8800, to inform them that he and some others were working on a basic interpreter for the platform. In reality, no one was working on anything, but Gates wanted to see if the company would be interested in such a product. They were, and soon booked a meeting with Gates and Allen. In just a few weeks, the duo developed an Altair emulator that ran on a mini-computer, and then the basic interpreter. The demonstration was a success and ended up with MITS agreeing on a partnership with Gates and Allen, a partnership Allen renamed Microsoft, a combination of microcomputer and software. On November 26, 1976, Gates and Allen registered the trade name, Microsoft, with the New Mexico Secretary of State. On November 20, 1985, Microsoft launched its first retail version of Windows, trying to fend off competition from Apple, which had captivated consumers with its simplicity and ease of use. Bill Gates became known within the company and the industry to be a person who went hard against both competitors, but also employees within his own company. There are also stories from Paul Allen, where he has said he believes that Bill Gates tried to screw him on both money and shares in the company. 
Gates has also been accused several times of bullying employees at Microsoft, though he himself was bullied as a child for being short and small. Just like Elon Musk, Bill Gates has expressed concern that artificial intelligence will become super intelligent and take over the world, and he has also openly supported the work of transhumanist Nick Bostrom. He has also expressed that he finds it hard to understand people who are stressed over digital technology, since he thinks that we actually can control it in a way which turns out to be beneficial for human beings and the planet. On March 13, 2020, Microsoft announced that Bill Gates would be leaving his board position at Microsoft to devote his efforts to philanthropic endeavors such as climate change, global health, development, and education. Gates is also the largest owner of agricultural land in the United States, where his company Cascade Investment owns 242,000 hectares, making him the 49th largest private owner of land in the United States. He also funds Earth Now, a Seattle-based startup, that aims to surround the Earth with live satellite video coverage. Impossible Foods, a company that develops plant-based substitutes for meat products, also owes a lot to Bill Gates, as he has pumped a lot of money into their projects. Bill Gates believes that changes in the climate and access to energy globally, are critical issues that need to be solved as soon as possible. He has urged several of the world's leaders and large private companies to follow and invest in research and development, to create innovative solutions that can fix the energy problem, and thus reduce greenhouse gases and also cure world poverty. Bill Gates' image has changed over the years, going from being seen as a nerd to a tyrannical technocrat to a billionaire philanthropist, and further to the savior saint has spent more than $50 billion on health, poverty, and education, when he started the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. However, this changed when it was announced that he and Melinda would divorce, and also as Gates' friendship with the convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein unfolded. This and a few other statements have now made him go from being a lovable billionaire tech nerd who was out to save the world, to a transhumanist supervillain who wants to protect profits over public health. Investigative journalist Tim Schwab has accused Bill Gates of influencing the media to protect his public image, and there have also been many theories flourishing on the internet, accusing Gates of wanting to depopulate the world and implant people with privacy violating microchips. Whether these theories are true or not, we can all agree that Bill Gates has been important to the digital technological development, and his work with Microsoft should be celebrated. Because without Bill Gates the personal computer would not have been what it is today. What are your thoughts on Bill Gates? Comment below, hit the thumbs up button, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching, see you next time.